coming out nearly there this car is strange i don't know what vw is doing here now. hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i go part hunting all the way in tolbach <laughs> and if you don't know that's how and now an hour and a half away from Cape Town and yeah it's it's a bit of a mission but it's a Mark II CLI 16 valve so it's got the brakes that I need so I'm going to get brakes and whatever else it's got I was considering getting the car but I'm taking the brakes off so it will be a non-runner after I take the brakes off and that's not ideal so and I don't want to swap other no it's too much of a mission so I'm just going to take what I need and I'm fetching Andrew, he's coming with me to take some parts off. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see what's there. I saw the ad on Marketplace. It, it didn't really, it didn't say it was a 16 valve, but I could see the CLI 16 valve badge that was there. And I was like, this should be promising. But that lady has been quite horrible to deal with. Like she she doesn't answer texts like she responded to me once and I sent her so many messages um, so that was a pain been trying to go for like two weeks now but anyway yeah let's see hopefully it works out hopefully it's not a complete waste of time and it has the brakes and it's decent the car was standing for a really long time so I'm expecting a lot of parts that don't want to come off we are in Tolbach my word did that take a while Let's, let's hope that it's not an absolute turd. I really hope it's a decent car. I mean, as decent as it can be for something that's just been neglected. Small town things. So this is what we are working with. Oh, that came off, that came off easy. So we just came to the petrol station to get some air for these wheels, the one isn't holding air. Um, so yeah, we're just going to put this on. We have gotten a flatbed to come through to fetch the car because Andrew decided he wants these wheels and there's many things on the car that we want so it's just easier to take it. But yeah, flatbed is going to be a lot easier than trying to tow it for probably two to three hours at like towing rate because it's quite far. The tow truck is finally here. It took like an hour and a half. So the one wheel is seized up. And we can't get the car out. We tried to tow it out to the, to the Ranger, but it's just pulling the car towards the wall. So I'm not too sure how we're going to get it out, but where there's a wall, there's a way. Be winching it out. Gonna touch the wall there now. It's coming out nearly there. What a what a mission. Can you straighten up? Is 
so this one wheel wasn't holding air it's like so dry rot broken and the windscreen is a massive hole in it no idea what happened there Uh, other side. Same thing, the universe. Oh. I'm gonna take that off. Should be fine there, man. Where's it gonna go? Okay. That's a pity this headlight is cracked. Oh, they're both cracked actually. No, guys are after these. Wash my car. It's a bit dirty. That black bag just living its best life, holding on for dear life, but not going anywhere. And we've made it. I am exhausted. What a drive. I drove from Franschhoek this morning to Tilbach, from Tilbach, like over 500 k's today. But here we are. Just checking to see how bad the floor is, but this side is actually like, looks really good. No bad dust. But on the other side, I can see a little bit of rust on it. So you can see over there is like a rust spot. But other than that, it looks fairly decent. So this, this caliper is quite crusty. This disc is badly corroded. But I'm hoping that the carrier is what I really want is fine. Ah, bad decisions were made. Andrew is like the worst, he's such an instigator. He's like, let's just buy it. Ah. So this this car is strange. I don't know what VW is doing here, but it got like interesting bits of the two-tone dash and that steering wheel. The gear knob still looks still looks fairly decent, but yeah, we'll we'll go through this car and see what's up. You guys haven't seen the GTS in a while. It's, it's uh, been through some changes. My plan was actually to drive the car, give you guys a POV on it, but yeah, we we ended up spending the whole day here, so. That's for some other time. He's definitely gonna pull it now. I am on my way to the workshop now. So we are going to start pulling things off that car. Go through it. I'll try and show you guys as much as I can. Like the oddities of the, the six involved. Um, yeah, I know that 
the CLI was a bit of an oddball. I don't know what BW was doing there, but it's just so different. So we're going to go through it. The reason we bought the car was just because it would have been so awkward to try and work on it at the people's place. And it was so hot until about yesterday, guys. It was 33 degrees. I mean, we just took the wheels off and we were exhausted. So this was definitely the better move. Yeah, so we'll see what we can salvage. Hopefully there's, there's some money to be made with it and the rest we will just chuck. It's a bit of a bummer though because the, the chassis is actually quite decent. I just think the license is, there's no disc on it, but I think the license is way too far behind. Okay, so I just got you now. I am going to start stripping and it is busy. So I'm going to pull the bonnet off bumpers and take the doors off basically just make it as accessible as possible so that we can just rip it apart as quickly as possible so this is what I love is finding like OE parts like this this is this panel this is that panel over there I'd never know my car so this will definitely be going into my car This is the front bumper off this is an original front bumper which is quite cool and then this is the CLI front so what's cool about this this back section is that it's got the cover and everything that one doesn't but maybe someone will want it for parts at least the it's badged 16 valve over there but yeah it's, it's a cool cool piece the, the grill you can see they had screws through it but I mean it's it's a grill that someone could use it's been been a while since I've updated I've been messing around with this so I've never actually taken these things apart before like taking off the CV nut and all of that what a mission um, but I think the best way to learn is to take apart a car so this is good school fees. Um, yeah, so that's that side. Andrew just took the tablet cover off. Doesn't mean much though. Looks looks decent. Ish. Uh, smooth. Yeah. And the side is off. Um, yeah, this this caliper is looking much better, but I'm probably gonna have to have this um, sandblasted or something just to get all that rust and corrosion off. I took this cover off, but it was so cool to see like the original markings on it, the CLI 16 valve, CLX, like all the models that we'll use. We'll use that other than the Golf GTI. So Jamil's gonna cut the exhaust off. Thankfully, which is great. I was way too optimistic thinking that I could just pull all these parts off at that people's place yesterday. It was not gonna happen. Okay, engine, engine out. I couldn't find my GoPro, so I didn't record that, but engine out. I am now going to loosen the steering rack, or the steering column, and then two, the four subframe bolts, and then subframe should be, should be off. So, subframe is out. That was... Yeah, so subframe is out. Luckily, I had some air tools because laying under the car, trying to pull that out and get a power bar under there is uh, a mission. So, yeah, it's out. It's filthy, but I'm hoping this rack is decent. Just needs a good clean. Need to power wash it. But essentially, this is my... 
paar Breaks. <laughs> it, looks, it looks terrible, but it should clean up. I'm hoping that I can just use my current caliper and just use this carrier. The carrier still looks decent. Both sides up. Yeah, should be should be okay. So day one took out the engine subframe box. And I think tomorrow we'll get into the interior, take the doors off, just take everything off. So yeah, good good day's work. Okay, so picking this back up. Last night I took a fender off. <laughs> it took me so long to take the fender off because it was seam sealer um, on the back section and I just couldn't understand why this thing wouldn't come off. But anyway, took one fender off and I took the shifter cables and tower out. So Andrew has done something, so we'll see what he's been up to. I think he's been doing interior things. And then I think we nearly there with it. And then someone can come take it off our hands. Ah, yeah, this is this is a lot of work. Andrew has been at it. Yeah, didn't really show you guys the interior, but it's it's quite quite bad. <laughs> it's really bad. Yeah, these seats have seen seen some things um, yeah so I had no idea that the 16 valve had had this function see it's got the height adjustment you can see it there quite cool uh, just lock it in place I had no idea that that was a thing someone probably needs needs this so we are leaving the seats in it I think by the time you guys watch this video the car will be gone Andrew is phoning phoning people to come fetch this car I'm sure someone needs that as well um, so yeah the car will just be taken as is we can just take off the rear suspension and beam and I think that will be it there's nothing else that we really really want here like paper in weird places I find this quite interesting so it's got this rear cover behind the seat but behind the seat didn't finish it like it is made for this cover that is so interesting and what's on the inside not much strange strange things they are just gonna throw this thing on the side my goodness uh, I mean that's one way to look at the bottom of the car Just like that, that Jetta is gone. <laughs> so, so those guys will come fetch a car like that for free and then just take it away. Um, it's not uh, glamorous, but they get things done. And now we've got to clean this place because it looks a mess. Mills tuning at 350D. 
that's some some good power earlier it made 198 kilowatts and 711 newtons that's strong strong eh? yes so. wow, well. all of us in the car <laughs> i no longer spins because we have extra weight <laughs> <laughs> Sounds cool with all the turbo and everything. Yeah, it does. race everyone <laughs> it's like people ask you where's the mark here like, don't need it <laughs> let's go <laughs> so this is the lens just needs a good clean but 16 valve cluster is always good to have not that our cars live to 8000 but we're getting close getting there it's been a busy few days I'm surprised that that car is gone like I, I didn't think we would make it Jamil gave us two days to get the car out and we made it so now it's just some parts I need to take a bucky there and go take what I need I kind of need to do that soon otherwise Andrew will sell the part <laughs> he'll sell the parts that I want to keep but essentially it's just um, subframe mounts and the brakes so I'll keep that I'm not too sure like little bits and bobs but for the most part it will be sold off um, the CLI had some cool cool stuff like the the back that hard plastic back behind the seats like all those random things but yeah this is a bit of a different video for me um, definitely was not supposed to be what it was but that's how things worked out there's a lot coming soon um, yeah some some big changes coming soon for the mark 2 but I will keep you guys in the loop on that I hope you guys enjoyed this video like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys in the next one